Hi there! This time we'll make a crazy project, a useless but very interesting, a ghost pie, the frame of which will be cast from transparent epoxy and we'll test it. Enjoy watching! An old bicycle with a classic frame was taken as a donna. Andrew arrived at the workshop in it. The first step is to disassemble the bike to the bare frame. In general, this story began with the fact that Andrew came at my place, and I claimed the idea to him to make a transparent frame. Without thinking twice, he said that he didn't see any particular difficulties if I took over the work in Apex. On this and agreed. Now later, everything is disassembled and looks like this. But there is only one drawback. Andrew has nothing to drive home. But looking ahead, I'll say that it was worth it. I hope Andrew thinks the same. In order to cast a one-piece epoxy frame, a complex two-piece silicon mold should be made. It's for this form that Andrew constructs a formwork. Such a sarcophagus made of laminated chipboard. A day of time, but 100 self tapping screws, and we have just such a box where the bike just fits perfectly. And this is important because silicon is not a cheap thing, and every square centimeter matters. In order to remove the silicon mold from the frame without problems, it should be prepared. The first step is to grind and remove all unnecessary elements. The next step is to dilute the glassy varnish. Mix it well and prepare the frame for painting. Degrease, wipe and now you can apply the varnish. In order for the silicon to be easily removed out of the box, we lubricate the formwork and the frame itself with the release agent. This is wax and a spray. And so the frame is finally prepared and lies in a finished formwork. Now you can dilute the mold silicon and pull the first layer. Since the rear fork is a rather difficult piece to cast, it was decided to make it in four parts, two on each side of the fork. That is why Andrew first pulled the thin layer. And when it fixed, he applied the release agent again. The next step is to dilute the same silicon and fill in the mating part of the first part of the fork. Yes, it sounds complicated, and in fact not very simple, but in the end we should have a clear reusable form. This is very important, since it's far from a fact that we'll get such a complex fill the first time.
with the rest of the frame, everything is much simpler, seeing the form will be made standard. Two part without any special tricks. First, fill the frame exactly to the middle with silicone, evenly around the entire perimeter. Then wait until the silicone grabs. Apply a release agent and pack it to the top with silicone. And this is how two part form is made. In order to minimize the consumption of silicon, fill the space between the rear fork with such a thing. To be honest, I don't remember what it's called. Who then is a no? Write in the comments. We are pouring silicon directly onto this gray thing. It's quite thick and should remain in place. Highest points will be sprued through which will pull the resin. For this we attach the tube. We also made an intermediate channel between the two sprues, so that all the air would truly escape. As a result, all this took more than 15 kilograms of silicon and a couple of weeks of work. The next day, when the final layer of silicon has dried, we carefully disassemble the formwork, since it will still be useful to us. As you can imagine, these numbers on the formwork are not accidental. They will greatly facilitate the work when we reassemble the puzzle. As you can see, the release agent works great and one part removes from the other without much effort. Subsequently, all this was assembled. 
in the same way as it was disassembled. The only thing is that we put part in the mold that could not be built into the epoxy frame. This is a fork in a carriage, as it's called. Well, when all the elements are loaded into the form and the form into the form work, we start filling. After seven days, we disassemble the formwork. But everything is not so simple here. We didn't connect the two parts of the silicon mold to each other in any way. And it's clear that there was a little excess resin between them. We understood that this would be the case. And for this, we made the entire formwork airtight. In our opinion, the excess resin should have spilled slightly in the formwork. But since there are no voids there, then the resin has nowhere to go. In principle, this is exactly what happened. But the small volume was enough to embed the formwork tightly. And no matter how much I wanted to save it, I had to resort to cardinal methods. And of course, I can't wait to see the result, at least with one eye. Yes, Andrew has been assembled all day, and I carefully disassembled. When the main formwork is disassembled, I cut off the spruce in order to remove the top layer of the mold. And finally, look at the result or lack thereof. In general, everything is fine. I'm pleasantly surprised. With the exception of a small flaw, the highest point of the rear fork turned out to be a little on the field. Apparently, the resin found its way out and left the highest point, although the resin remained in the sprue until the last, which we observed closely. But again, the backdrop of overall success this is not even a problem. As you remember, we put the fork in the mold beforehand. It was also greased with wax in advance. And here you can clearly see how the resin removed from the process part. This is necessary in order from the handlebar to turn, and the bike was at least more or less functional. In order to the frame to become completely transparent, it is necessary to cover it with a glossy varnish. But first send it well, starting with a 240th and ending with a 600th of sandpaper. We add the place that has not spilled to the top by making such a local form work from scotch tape. Now you can start varnishing and assembling. It's clear that this is not a bike for every day. This is just a project from the category What If. Having looked at the finished result with Andrew, we realized that we can also make transparent wheels, a handlebar and a fork. In general, a complete ghost bike. We have already thought about how to make it correctly. Of course, this is a complex, time-consuming and costly project. If you support and help with the promotion of this video, then in the near future we will add the second part, where you'll see a completely transparent bike, as well as its crash test. We will check how long and with what loads it will be possible to ride on it. And given that the seat is also made of epoxy, it will be quite spectacular. In general, if you think that such content is worthy of your attention, then the best way to promote it is to share this video anywhere, as well as give a like and a long comment. All this will take less than a minute. And in return, we will devote a month of our time to the second part. How do you like it? 
Thanks for watching and catch positive attacks from the axe.